iPad, welcome to India. A report in Australia suggested that a few of the state associations are starting a franchise league and they have approached you. So, is it going getting a bit concerning for cricketers like you who are uh, who have been part of IPL, BPL, and so is it a bit concerning that the state associations are approaching you? Oh, I don't think concerning's you know the right word. Uh, word, I think it's yeah reality of, of world cricket now. There's lots of opportunity. Um, yeah, for for me and everyone else here, you know, Australia is still number one playing for Australia, but there are plenty of other opportunities. So it's up to us to um, yeah keep keep making sure that um, yeah we've got our eyes wide open. And um, yeah, for me, love playing for Australia. So trying to make Australia number one and keep it that way. Pat, uh, there's been an article today in the paper about claims that you've been have made some massively big offers by city-based Indian teams. Is T20 getting to a point where Cricket Australian players are going to balk at signing long-term contracts now if they think they can do cameos for a million bucks overseas? Oh, I think it's something, yeah, we've got to be aware of. Um, you know, I think, yeah, we all love playing for Australia, but these opportunities are, are huge and they're popping up more and more often. So I think it's up to... Um, you know, us as a as a sport in Australia to make sure that we've got a really strong vision of what we want Australian cricket to look like for the next five, ten years. You know, we got through COVID, so now what's next? Because um, these things are going to keep popping up. So um, yeah, get on the front foot, be proactive. Um, yeah, we all want to keep Australian cricket as number one. So how how can we manage all these different um, competing interests to to try and keep it that way? Is it a danger? I mean. Does the ICC or countries need to get together to sort it out? Because I mean, there's, you turn on the TV now, there's a 2020 competition played in places people have never heard of practically. I mean, there's so much of it, it's going to be overkill. But is it going to be a point where it's going to endanger various parts of cricket, including test cricket? Oh, you know, hard to say, but I, I think it's something we've got to be really proactive on. Um, as I said, we, we've got to, um, you know, cr- Playing for your country, international cricket at the moment still number one for just about everyone, especially here in Australia. Um, I think we 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 can't just take that for granted. We've got to make sure that that remains the, the way, and that's in scheduling, in um, payment, and in vision of just um, you know what it means to be an Aussie cricketer. So uh, that's all ahead of us. It's exciting, and you know, we will work together to make sure that stays the way.